love. Hello everyone. This is Rev Elizabeth and Charlie here at our house at the Vicarage and happy Feast of the Ascension Day. Um, today Charlie and, and Kitty here and I have been talking about this story of the Ascension and what it is and what it means and it's one of the most extraordinary stories about Jesus that we have. And the story is we are 40 days now after Easter Sunday, and we always mark this feast day that at that time, 40 days after Easter, because it marks the time about when Jesus stopped appearing to the disciples um, as a resurrected Jesus. And he came to them sort of one last time, and he gave them some instructions to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit and that they would receive some power to go and do and be like Jesus was in the world and do it themselves and be his body in the world. So he asked them to wait. And what happened is this, out of the Gospel of Luke, it says, Jesus spoke to all of the disciples, telling them that once he had left them, they would receive the power from the Holy Spirit to help them spread the word of God throughout the world. After he had spoken, Jesus was lifted up out of their sight, hidden from them in a cloud. As the disciples stood gazing up into the sky, two men dressed in white appeared to them beside, beside them. Men of Galilee, why are you looking up into heaven? He is not here. Jesus, who has been taken up into heaven, will return to you in the same way you saw him come. What a story! So, the Feast of the Ascension is a very important day because it's a day that marks the spark of the imagination in the disciples. And this is an event that nobody could have filmed. Where did Kitty go? Where did he go, Charlie? I don't know. I think he went up to heaven. Up to heaven? So we could film Kitty going up, but I don't think people could have filmed what happened to Jesus. It was some extraordinary thing where the disciples felt him vanish from their sight and he went, he was taken from them. But what happened was their reaction was joy and excitement and they suddenly discovered the power of their imagination. And the power of their imagination was given to them in the Holy Spirit when Jesus had said, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and it came on the Feast of Pentecost, they were given the power of the Holy Spirit to go and do and be what Jesus was in the world and do all the things he did in the world because they, he was with them still, even though his body, his presence that they could see with their eyes was no longer, they, they, had, they held him in their hearts and they experienced him as alive. And that's how we get to experience Jesus. Um, all the most important things in life start with the power of the imaginal, with the way that our, our minds are open to possibility. And that is our God-given spark to create and to go and do and be love and loving in the world and to do things that will change the world and bring new life and new hope and new possibilities into the world and to bring God into the world. That's what we're about. And the Ascension unlocked that door to the possibility. So go and have fun. Go and use your imaginations and see God everywhere because God is with us. <laughs> and also kidding. with you. Amen. And bye bye, kitty kitty.